everybody welcome back to our channel I'm Krista and I am going to share with you today my Friday work box what is that you ask well if you've seen my Sunday basket video you kind of have the idea of the Friday work box already it is another organized 365 product yes I have drank the kool-aid I'm all in on this organizational system and I've also purchased the 100 day organization program through organized 365 so I'm sure you'll be hearing about that in the future. Um, that starts in September for my first round of it. So I'm sure I'll be talking about that along the way. For today, we're gonna talk about the workbox system and how I organize my business paperwork. So this is the Friday workbox. It is exactly the same as the Sunday basket box. Um, just has a different functionality. This is actually um, the second iteration, I believe, of the box. There is another newer version out now, which you can see in my Sunday Basket video that's made of cloth, and it's more durable. But this literally sits on top of this cart, so um, I have no problems with it breaking or anything because I don't move it. Speaking of the cart, I got this cart at Ikea. I've seen them similarly at Michael's also. Um, I think this one was about $30 or $40. I've seen smaller ones for $20 to $30. Um, I'm sure they make bigger ones by now also. But this is the perfect size for my business. So the top shelf, like I said, is my work box, my planners that I use. Um, these are my personal planners. It just makes sense to keep them over here because this is where I work every day. And then some extra things in the back. The second shelf has some supplies that I use, index cards and post-its. These are my catalogs for my business, my pens, markers, and highlighters, labeler, stapler, extra business cards, binder clips, things like that. And then on the bottom, I have my three-hole punch for both regular paper and my Filofax, and then I have extra printer paper. So if we can zoom in a little bit on the top, shelf I'm going to go into my work box. So in the front of the work box, I will tip it forward so you can see inside, is a section here in the front that is meant to be a catch-all for paperwork throughout the week. Just like the Sunday basket, everything during the week goes in this pocket and I go through it on Friday for my business, hence the Friday work box. So I have notes to myself um, on index cards that I toss in. I have some proposal information that I toss in, receipts, to-do items that I didn't do, more notes, and a um, workbook from a webinar that I did that all goes in there. And then Friday, I go through the box and organize everything. So the first five slash pockets are labeled with each day of the week. More on that in a minute. The pink slash pockets in the work box are for ideas and or branding. That's how I use it. Everybody might use them a little differently. I have a wedding planning business, so that highly um, changes how I use things. Um, so I have branding information, social media, website, partners, a course that I'm developing, and YouTube. Look at the pink pockets as ideas or places where you're going to advertise to get clients. Now usually in front of the purple slash pockets, I have bio folders for each of my clients. Um, Lisa at Organize365 suggests having a purple slash pocket for each client, but mine have a lot of paperwork, so I give them their own file folder. But the purple clients are for, I'm sorry, the purple slash pockets are for clients and customers. So I have consultations, follow-up, worksheets that I use with my clients, the services, I've got a current packages, pricing, services list, and then dead leads, which are people who have ghosted me or have said, no, they're not going to use my services. Um, I hold them for a little while just in case they were to change their mind or come back around. 
Then we have the blue slash pockets, which are all for team and people that you work with. So I have, I don't have a team yet, but I do have a running list of tasks that I would like to hire out for at some point. Hiring info, where I keep information about hiring people when it gets to that point. Wedding pros is where I throw business cards until I can add them to my uh, online Rolodex. I have new ideas, which is um, anything new for my business where it lives until it gets a pink slash pocket. And then personal and business development. And finally, we have green slash pockets. We all know green means money. So I have a list of accounts. I have legal paperwork. I have receipts from this month. I have expenses from previous months for this year. And then the final one is inventory. So if you have physical inventory, that's what you would put here. Um, I don't really quite know how I'm going to use this yet, except for maybe listing the vases and things that I do have available, even though I don't advertise for those uh, services as rentals. Every Friday, when I go through the box and figure out what exactly I need to do for the upcoming week, that's when I organize everything into these pockets, the Monday through Friday rainbow color slash pockets. And I leave those right on top of the space where I work, which is here at the end of the dining room table, so that every day I can see what I need to do, um, refer to my calendar if need be, or my Trello board, and get everything done. Once it's done, it goes right back in the Sunday basket to be dealt with on Friday again. So if you have any questions about Friday Box, please let me know. I will link Lisa's website and everything down below. She also has a quiz that will help you determine which um, work box you need. She has an entrepreneur box, which is what I have. She has a homeschool box, a teacher box, an administration box, a corporate box, a franchisee box, direct sales. She's got a lot and lot of different options for whatever business that you have. So I will definitely link her below. And if you have any questions about my box in particular, please leave them in the comments. Thank you.